Dubai is on track to be the first city in the world to offer a ride in a flying taxi. That's according to the CEO of Skyports, who says a full service will be operational by 2026. Well, let's go to Dubai. We're joined by our correspondent, Bastien Bory. Sebastian, uh, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? Will people really be flying around the Emirates within just three years? Absolutely. These vehicles will run uh, on 100% uh, uh, renewable energy. Uh, theoretically non-polluting and generated by a combination of uh, solar panels and uh, propellers, uh, which will enable these machines to be used not just as cabs, uh, but also as uh, ambulances and emergency response vehicles in um, hard to reach uh, disaster areas, uh, as we've seen lately with these uh, earthquakes in Turkey, in Morocco, and, and the floods in Libya as well. And there's um, a demand, uh, I was going to say a vital demand for this kind of machine uh, over and above its simple use as, um, as a cab. Uh, all the more so as, uh, from what we are told, uh, these aircraft will not only be greener, but also quieter, more uh, maneuverable and less expensive than the traditional helicopters um, in use today. So um, entry into service, as you said, 2026 in Dubai only. Uh, the design, uh, as we can see on, this, on these pictures, um, of the bodywork has already been approved. Uh, they will be capable of uh, reaching a range of 200 kilometers and flying at 300 kilometers per hour. Um, four passengers uh, on board, plus the driver or the pilot. Um, I'm not sure uh, what to call them. And um, rather optimistic prospects for reducing road traffic. Um, traffic isn't particularly uh, nightmarish in Dubai, but it's, it's bound to increase uh, as the population grows by around 2% every year. Wow. 300 kilometers per hour, did you say? Uh, a similar project is underway in Saudi Arabia, is that right? Uh, at least for the Saudis, everything uh, seems to have worked out during the tests that we've uh, that's been uh, run. Uh, they're they're betting big. Uh, this actually marks the first time an electric vehicle, a vertical, sorry, takeoff and landing aircraft has received a special authorization and performed test flights in the in the country in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the flight test campaign uh, lasted over a week and built on two years of collaboration between NEOM, uh, this Saudi megacity project we've discussed a couple of times, and Volocopter, a, a German aircraft manufacturer. Uh, and this is not just another step towards the creation of NEOM. This is also seen by the Saudis uh, as a global accelerator and incubator for, uh, for solutions. Uh, is this a, a point of competition between the Saudis and the Emiratis? It's, uh, it can be called as a, as a healthy uh, competition, except that the Saudis are a little late, at least on this. Um, the first test flight was carried out in Riyadh this summer, in June, but the whole thing still needs to be retested uh, multiple times, approved, uh, etc. So, um, especially since the Saudi aircraft will be different. Uh, they'll be bigger, will, with greater autonomy, obviously in view of the size of the country and the size of the cities as well. Um, as I said, a German manufacturer uh, will produce these devices and they will be used mainly in this neon megacity, uh, which will be a kind of a residential Silicon Valley uh, for the Middle East and which will be built um, uh, in the north of Saudi Arabia, uh, not too far from Israel. The future is in the Gulf, isn't it? All right, Bastien, thank you very much indeed. Bastien Boré there.